welcome to the flag raising ceremony, awarding of DAP personnel, presentation of the investigator's handbook for new normal, and more signing between PNP and Supreme Court of the Philippines at the National Headquarters, Philippine National Police. Joining us by a Zoom platform are the regional directors, B staff, directors, MSUs, and E staff. The ceremony will now begin. All rise. As Team PNP, with pride and honor, let us sing the national anthem. Invocation will be delivered by Ms. Colonel Ebra Moxino, Chief of Staff, Chaplain Service. Ayan daw po natin ang ating masarili sa presensya ng ating Panginoon. Let us go. Ang matigat, indeed, you are gracious, merciful, and sovereign. We worship and honor you for allowing your people to live and to have this opportunity of love written ceremony. With all humility and total remorse in our hearts, we are asking for your forgiveness from our sins and thoughts and words and endings. Today, we are truly honored to present the award to the seven interpersonal who successfully performed the duty. With the launching of our enhanced environment, let this location be successful in upgrading our system in the Philippine National Park. Likewise, we thank you for the new ancient visitors and for the new job that will be presented today. Make it this for our investigators that will be guided in performing this task. Thank you also for granting the command of happening between the Philippine National Police and the Southern Court of the Philippines. May the process continue to grow and prosper to our future glory. Grant your wisdom and blessing to our country. In the heart of Jose Mindas Pascal Matthews, Chief, Office of God, and Mr. Carl Hunter of God, of course. This presents to fire up always a golden Lord, God, the Lord, and God. 
making a summit of a pandemic. Both were and things as we aspire to have a mission to be one of the reasons that we do. We pray that we will continue to focus all the twenty percent of our respective families and the Philippine people in the time of pandemic. There is our belief in other countries, if we can have the police, or if Daniel has to talk to us to score this conduit in other members of the common group. All the issues, the issues, industry, and all the problems of the future constitution grant us wisdom and sound judgment in all of our individuals. Continue to give us a strength in this journey and let it be done in our lives. We bring this in your most holy name to labor and labor. Amen. The Panginoong Parang Katakas Officers Club will be led by Police Colonel Kofi Adrenita, Deputy Director for Operations, HPG. Panginoong Parang Katakas Officers Club will be led by Police Colonel Kofi Adrenita, Deputy Director for Operations, HPG. Panginoong Parang Katakas Officers Club will be led by Police Colonel Kofi Adrenita, Deputy Director for Operations, HPG. Panginoong Parang Katakas Officers Club will be led by Police Colonel Kofi Adrenita, sa matawag ng Pilipinas at sa pansang kanyang sinasagisan na may dangal katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sabay ng mga Diyos mga tao mga kalukasan at mga bansa ito pa po ang ating kanta Police of First Friends Please be my friend I will love myself God my country and people. I will uphold the Constitution and obey legal orders of the duly constituted authorities. I will oblige myself to maintain a high standard of morality and professionalism. I will respect the customs and traditions of the police service. And I will live a decent and virtuous life to serve as an example to others. This is part of the Executive The National Police Clearance System, or NCCS, has come a long way in providing efficient service by shortening the process time of police clearance inspection. Moreover, the implementation of NECS is consistent with the commitment of the PMP to increase the crime solution efficiency, as well as crime prevention, by building up a database used in obtaining investigative leads. Likewise, the NECS has been instrumental in the capture of 36 wanted persons who are arrested while applying it. As a thing, as a way forward, all police station nationwide is projected to be NPCS enabled by 2023. Please watch the other virtual presentation. support the implementation of NPCS and maintain peace and order in the community for a safer place to live in. Thank you very much for that presentation. NPCS will not be a test without the dedication of PMP personnel who contributed immensely to the process. We shall now proceed to the awarding ceremony. May we request the awardees to run. To present the award of the Chief PMP for the General Archie Francisco Gamboa. May we also request Honorable Marquez to join together with the Commander of PBCA, the Lieutenant General Camilo Pancrasis Escolan, PBCO for the Lieutenant General Guillermo Loreto and Lazar, and TVIPM for the Major General Elmo Francis Serrano. For their significant accomplishment as members of the National Police Clearance System, or NPCS, 
that led to the establishment of 184 NPCS and Naval Police Station and a total of 1,614 NCPS paid personnel, which resulted in the arrest of 36 wanted persons, greatly contributed to the attainment of the PNP's commitment of an improved crime solution efficiency. Medalla ng Katang Tanigawa is awarded to Ms. Colonel Noel Sandoval. Thank you, sir. Same award is given to Police Major Christian Santillano. Thank you, sir. Medalla ng Kasanayan is awarded to NUP Rosenda Aison for her exceptionally meritorious and valuable service rendered as member of NPCS as well. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all our awardees. Please be seated. Continually enhancing the e warrant system, the BMP, through DIDM, together with the Information Technology Management Service and Legal Service, in coordination with the courts, through the Office of the Court Administrator, developed the so called Enhanced e warrant system. The Enhanced e warrant system will enable a more efficient and effective method of monitoring, accounting, and accessing warrants of arrest nationwide. It will also provide a real-time status of warrants of arrest since the court will be the one to update the same if the need arises. To ensure safety and confidentiality of information, highest security protocols will be utilized by the system. With the enhanced e-warrant system, the PNP will be equipped with a powerful tool to increase the number of arrests in the country, thereby improving the crime solution efficiency. 
the same can also be utilized as a more reliable system in the counter-checking of any criminal record of applicants in the National Police Clearance System, thereby ensuring public safety and security. The launching of the enhanced e-warrant system will also contribute to the government's campaign to prevent the spread of COVID-19 pandemic, considering that it involves paperless, if not less paper transmission of warrants of arrest. Additionally, a system for the issuance of commitment orders was also incorporated in the enhanced e-warrant system. With this, even the monitoring of the whereabouts of persons deprived of liberty will be made easy. The Philippine National Police receives various types of warrants from different courts, tribunal, and quasi-judicial bodies nationwide, which requires law enforcers to serve the warrant of arrest to wanted persons. On several occasions, these warrants do not reach the concerned law officers on time, causing delay in the serving of the aforesaid warrants. In some instances, various courts experience difficulty in the monitoring of compliances and actions taken by the law enforcers in the warrants of arrest issue. In addition, there are instances where the law enforcers were not timely informed on the latest status of the warrant of arrest. Hence, it may happen that the warrants being served will be discovered later on as squashed or lifted already. Further, time is of the essence with respect to the service of warrant of arrest, especially on situations where the wanted person is already present before the law enforcers. By the time coordination was made to the court to determine if the warrant of arrest is still outstanding, the wanted person to be arrested is no longer around or has escaped already. The enhanced e-warrant system have the following objectives. To have a cost-effective and more efficient and prompt issuance of warrants to law enforcement units. To provide analysis of various reports pertaining to the issued warrant of arrest, status of suspects, and other relative matters pertaining to the court issuances in relation to the warrant of arrest. To provide backups considering that documents are stored and archived in this system for easy retrieval either for references or information to enable the judiciary to streamline and manage the daily process of issuing and processing warrants of arrest. To empower judges and law enforcers to collaborate and coordinate with each other on a real-time basis. To provide a secure mechanism to ensure the safety and confidentiality of information stored in the system. Since this is a joint project between the Supreme Court and the BNP, both parties shall have a designated system administrator who would create system user accounts for their respective organization. For the court, the authorized users are the judges and court of courts. On the part of the PMP, the DIDM shall be the principal user and the warrant officers in the different police stations nationwide. Under the enhanced e-warrant system, the court shall issue warrant using the system and shall be viewed by the law enforcers in their own dashboards. Same copy will also be forwarded to their registered email accounts. At their units, the chief of the office must ensure that all efforts will be exerted for the service of warrants to all wanted persons. The designated warrant officer, being an authorized system user, shall acknowledge receipt of warrant through the system and shall print and serve the warrant to the suspect. If the accused is no longer residing at the address stated in the warrant of arrest, the warrant officer is obliged to make a return to the court within 10 days, also through the system. The court will archive the warrant and issue an alias warrant of arrest to the accused on or before six months from the date that the warrant was returned to the court of origin. In case the accused is arrested, the law enforcer is advised to provide feedback to the court through the system so that the court knows that he or she has been arrested and so that the court can also issue the corresponding commitment order. With this collaboration between the courts and the BNP, persons with warrant of arrest can be brought to justice expeditiously. With the full implementation of enhanced e-warrant system, the world of wanted persons becomes smaller. As such, the best option for them is to just surrender. As the saying goes, you can always run, but you cannot hide.
Thank you for that presentation. And now we'll proceed to the MOA signing between the PNP and the Supreme Court of the Philippines on the Enhanced Key Warrant. May we request our signatories to rise. From the PNP is Police General Archie Francisco Gamboa, Chief PNP. From Supreme Court is Honorable Jose Imeida Marquez, Administrator, Supreme Court. We also request the witnesses to join. CPNPM is Major General Elmo Francis Corona and Deputy Court Administrator, Honorable Raul Villanueva. The use of technological advancement and innovative solutions in carrying out their respective mandates more effectively and efficiently to further enhance the criminal justice system. A MOA signing between the PNP and Supreme Court aims to enhance the existing e-warrant system to ensure and enable a real-time and proficient method of monitoring, accounting, and accessing warrant of arrest nationwide. The enhanced e-warrant system is projected by both parties as an efficient process which, when properly implemented, will definitely result in a more effective and successful service of warrant of arrest. National Police, headed by no less than its Chief of uh, Police General Archie Francisco Escamboa, without whom this event would not have been possible. To the head of the PNP Directorate for Investigation and Detective Management, or the IDM, 
Police Major General Elmo Francis D. Sarona, O. Sarona, who has been instrumental in spearheading the enhanced e-warrant system. To my distinguished colleagues in the judiciary, Deputy Court Administrator for Luzon, Raul D. Villanueva, and the President of our Philippine Judges Association, Judge Felix P. Reyes. And of course, to our friends and partners from the various PNP regional offices who are, who are joining us here, now online from the different parts of the country, in another first of its kind milestone in our new normal. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. The Supreme Court's partnership with the PNP during my watch as court administrator started six years ago with our joint implementation of the e-subpoena system. I was also here sometime in April 2014 to sign the Memorandum of Agreement on the e-subpoena system which was intended to reduce delays and ensure the attendance of police witnesses in court hearings resulting in the successful prosecution of criminal cases. In December 2018, the Supreme Court, through the Office of the Court Administrator, in close coordination with the PNP, successfully and fully implemented the e-subpoena system, which gave our courts nationwide an exclusive real-time access to police stations all over the country for purposes of serving subpoenas with a mere click of a key. Taking advantage of this technological innovation, the inconvenient delay caused by the manual issuance and regular mailing of subpoenas to our law enforcement agents became a thing of the past. Today, we continue to implement what we have started some six years ago. Today also, we are again gathered here to make another history in another monumental, monumental first. We are now equipped to take on the challenge of fully automating the process of issuing warrants of arrest. Driven by our collective goal of enforcing a more effective and timely service of warrants of arrest, the enhanced e-warrant system finally enables us to electronically monitor the status of all warrants of arrest issued nationwide. With the valued assistance of the PNP in the development of this system and following the evaluation and review of our judges in a series of discussions and consultations, the enhanced e-warrant system is set to operate as an online database of warrants of arrest issued by the courts. Giving instantaneous updates on the status of the warrants and the specific actions taken by law enforcement agents this system ultimately aims to drastically reduce the delay in the release of the accused as well as eliminate the possibility of mistaken detention on account of similarity of names. Amidst the myriad of challenges caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the implementation of this technologically advanced system comes at an opportune time in appearing in affirming an accessible and responsive dispensation of justice. Indeed, the Supreme Court, through the Office of the Court Administrator, is one with the PNP in the proper enforcement of the law and the relevant rules of procedure. Capitalizing on this mutually beneficial partnership, may we, con may we continue to successfully work towards an effective and efficient implementation of the enhanced e warning system for the ultimate benefit of our country and people. Maraming salamat po sa inyong mga. Thank you, sir. Please be seated. The Philippine National Police highly appreciates the presence of our guests today. And at this point, the Chief PNP, together with the PNP Command Group and TBIDM, would like to present a token of appreciation. May we request Honorable Marquez to rise.
Thank you, sir. Manatili po tayong nakatayo. Magsitayo ang lahat at ating awitin ang PNP Lingkod ng Bayan. concludes the program. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, everyone. God bless.